Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how to create a sample database within SQL Server. So what we will do basically is install the NorthwindDB which is a sample database from Microsoft and we put install this or create this DB uh, within this SQL Server. So let's open SQL Server. waiting for it to open uh, actually guys we need to turn on our virtual machine and because SQL Server is installed uh, inside that and we need to work on that SQL Server so I'm opening VMware workstation player and booting up my virtual machine after that so let's maximize it and um, the DB machine which I need to start so this is starting up now okay we are inside the virtual machine so let's log in into that waiting for it to come up Alright, our Windows machine has started, so let me turn on SQL Server Management Studio. It's starting up now and will be up in a while. Waiting for it to come up with the user interface. Uh, we can see the window of server manager on the top so let's close it uh, SQL server management studio is still trying to come up all right uh, SQL server studio is up uh, let me connect to the server and uh, on the left hand side pane in the object explorer uh, I'm expanding databases and right now I can see that there are no databases installed inside this SQL Server so let me click on open I think I have a script to create a Northwind DB inside my SQL Server but uh, I do not have that so let me quickly go to uh, Google Chrome and search for I need to search for Northwind sample DB so let's do that Northwind database just type in and do a search uh, the first link is from archive.codeplex.com and the second link is from docs.microsoft.com so let's open up second link and there's a link saying Northwind and pubs sample databases for Microsoft SQL Server click on that and there is a text file uh, which uh, indicates installed Northwind database and it's a SQL script which we need to execute inside SQL Server so let me quickly open that and it is asking me to download that script so let me download it so it has given me textual script so what I'm doing, I'm going ahead and copying this script and going inside my virtual machine uh, and creating a new query and putting this script inside that query window and let me go to top of the script and I need to execute this query in order to create the Northwind database in this system so I'm executing it okay the command has completed successfully let's close it out I don't want to save it and if we refresh the databases section using this button I can see that we have Northwind database installed inside SQL Server it has various tables around 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tables are there and these tables have a relationship with each other and uh, let me show you how so let me go back to my notes and let's review okay so we are done with this step creating northwind db which is a sample db inside sql server using the script given by microsoft we're done with this and the second step is you can create a database diagram uh, which basically shows the entity relationship diagram showing rel relationship between various tables and this is the diagram for northwind database and it has 13 tables which are related to each other in some way so for example right now we can see product tables as a product ID field and various other fields in this table product ID is a primary key field uh, which is basically a unique column within the database uh, and can contain only uh, unique values and these keys the primary keys can be used in other tables for example the product ID key from products table is used inside the order details table you can see that and in the order detail table it is known as foreign key whereas in a products table the product id key is primary key and in order details table the product id key is foreign key now let's review another table which is the suppliers table it has a supplier id primary key and the column type is integer type and there are various database data storage types uh, which includes nvrcar which basically stores the textual data and and text also contains the textual data and there is a field for nullable whether that field can be left blank or a value is necessary so for the columns where nullable is mentioned as no we cannot put null values inside those columns so this is the overall database diagram showing relationship between various tables within the Northwind database so let's review this step how to create database diagram you can also go inside SQL Server and create a database diagram if you right click on Northwind database and there's a task section and let me see where you can create database diagrams give me a myth okay and got it so if you look inside the north wind database there's a section for database diagrams right now if we expand it uh, it is giving us warning that this database does not have one or more support objects required to use database diagramming do you want to create them I'm clicking on yes and right clicking on it and create and creating a new database diagram so I need to add all the tables if we want to see relationship between all of them so right now it's in a process of adding all the tables which are 13 tables so once it is done it will take me back to the board in the back so yeah this is the database diagram so let me show you one of the relationships here so yeah we were looking at the products table earlier having the product ID key which is used as the foreign key in the order details table all right and the order ID key here is the primary key for order details table no it's a foreign key inside the order details table but it's a primary key inside the order table the order ID key is the primary key inside the order table and this diagram is also showing relationship between other tables as well uh, so you can explore that after creating database diagram so let me close it and I don't want to save the or let me save it the, uh, the, the name diagram zero so yeah let me refresh it so if I expand the database section I can see this diagram so if I double click on it it will open up a diagram for me 
and later on uh, we can reference this diagram as well all the code that we will be using in our further videos will include this northern database as well as the tables from northern database any sql queries that we will write will operate on these tables so i would suggest you to review these tables and the relationship between various primary keys within other tables all right now let me close it thank you so guys in this video we we have discussed about how to create a northwind sample databases using one of the microsoft scripts and apart from that we have also seen how we can create database diagrams within sql server so yeah in this video we will covering only this much and uh, in our next video we will carry on with our further topics uh, regarding sql server so uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel and to get updates on newly released videos uh, hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you